All right, here's one more, Poppy. I know it's kind of late, so sorry about this, but I think these really will help you out a lot. So here's one where you can see that the velocity is changing. So the first graph being a velocity versus time graph, it's going from zero velocity to positive to more positive to more positive. So this is becoming more positive with the velocity, so that's a positive acceleration. Not like you need to talk about acceleration here, but it's what we were working on. The second one then, distance versus time graph. Remember the slope is the velocity. So this one has kind of a horizontal slope to begin with, almost no velocity. And then it becomes a negative slope, so negative velocity, then more negative, more negative, no more negative. So this does have its velocity changing like the first one, but this one's velocities are becoming more negative. Dot diagram in the bottom left we didn't talk about. I don't really think he's going to have you talk about it. But this is showing an object moving to the left, so the dot on the right side is where it starts. And then the next dot to the left of it is showing how it's then moving each second later. So you can see they're getting more spaced out. So it's actually got to be speeding up for them to become more spaced out. And if it's doing it to the left, then this is becoming more and more negative. Uh, faster in the negative direction. So this would actually agree with the graph in the top right because it's moving in the negative direction and speeding up in the negative direction. I like this one because this then talks about our FBDs. This is a tricky part with the free body diagrams. The one in the bottom right. Kids make assumptions that if the unbalance is to the left, that it means it must be moving to the left. That is actually not the case. This is just showing us that the velocity will change in that direction. So this could be an object moving to the right. And if the net force is to the left, opposite of that direction, that just means it's slowing down. That doesn't agree with any of these, so that's not the option, but that could be a scenario for this FBD. The other scenario this FBD could be showing is an object moving to the left, and if it's unbalanced to the left in the same direction, that's actually going to make it speed up as it's going to the left. So that does agree with the idea of, well, if it is moving to the left in the negative direction and the unbalanced force is also to the left, that's going to make it speed up even faster in the negative direction, which agrees with the dot diagram in the bottom left and the distance versus time graph in the top right. So this is actually odd man out because it's showing a change in velocity like the rest, but changing in the positive direction. Okay, so those FBDs, like I said, you don't know exactly what it's doing. There's options, um, so just be aware of that. You don't know for sure if it's moving to the left and speeding up. It could technically be an object moving to the right and slowing down. That's like, say, a hockey puck moving on ice, but friction is slowing it down. After it's already been given its motion by the stick and the player, it could be moving to the right with no more forces pushing it to the right, but the friction is what's slowing it down. So be careful with FBDs. They don't really tell you which way it's moving. So this one's good. Let's see what the next one looks like. If it's a good one, I'll go ahead and do that one too. All right, this one, the FBD is constant velocity. So either at rest, staying at rest, the position versus time graph shows that. Um, this one does not. So that one's actually pretty easy. The description, it's at rest, moving at rest. So again, the FBD, just like I was talking about earlier, it doesn't actually tell you exactly what the motion is doing. You can make assumptions though that if it's balanced, which it is, it's either at rest, staying at rest, or it's in motion moving with a constant velocity. So I did jump the gun a little bit on that. I kind of was like, oh, it's at rest, staying at rest. It could also technically be the same as the one that I've chosen here, the velocity graph. It could be an object moving with a velocity at a constant velocity. But this the object not moving and is at rest, this gives it away that this is the odd one out, okay? All right, so hopefully that helps you with the idea of FBDs. They tell you the forces, if they're balanced or unbalanced is the big deal. This one right here, I think this is a good easy one to finish on. The dot diagram shows the object moving to the right and if the dots get further, it's speeding up, so it's becoming more and more positive velocities. 
this position versus time graph is curved. Again, a distance versus time graph. At the beginning, the slope looks like it's zero. Then midway through, it's a positive slope. Then at the end, an even more positive slope. Slope of a position or distance versus time graph is velocity. So these velocities are becoming more and more positive, which agrees with the dot diagram right here. This one, velocity starts at zero because velocity is on the y-axis. And then it becomes some positive value and then more positive and more positive. So that actually agrees with the dot diagram and the position or distance versus time graph. This FBD is the odd one out. If the velocity is changing like the other three, it shouldn't then be balanced forces because balanced forces means the velocity is constant either at rest, staying at rest, or moving with the constant velocity. So that is definitely incorrect right there, okay? All right. Again, hope these help, Poppy.